And I think it's really interesting that you're leaving Winnipeg just as it started. It got warm. Did you say it's starting to get warm? No, I want it to be cold. We're not scared. <laughs> this is my favorite bridge in all of the city. The majestic Winnipeg skyline. Here's lipsticks. Are you ready to get experienced? <laughs> So Jad's the best. How long has he been living in Canada? Like a year now? And he just kind of moved here with his wife. They're both nurses, but they're both musicians. And he knows how to use like a lot of like different programs, makes like electronic music and stuff. Threw a few tracks at him and just said like, see what you can do. It's kind of made heavy songs heavier. And he owns seven Beatles shirts, one for every day of the week. We're kind of down to the wire with a few things. Yesterday with, uh, Musically, adding like some extra little stuff, making sure all the vocals were right, make, just kind of making sure everything was where it needed to be. Didn't need more, you know, overshooting anything. We were there very late, putting in those final hours. JP was a trooper. I feel great, I feel really good. We're done. I guess the only thing I like about Edwin was that idea of gatekeeper, friends stay, and then facing time into better nails. <laughs> Also, that would end side A. Side B starts with, we run free. Go into, fear will kill us all. I like it. I think I did rattlesnake, can't sleep, heads will roll, winter peg. Yeah. Sort of how I had the, the yeah. vibe. But one thing I was thinking is like a space and time or bed of nails being track two. It's like something kind of more melodic. The only thing I think with bed of nails, it's, Super melodic, but it's not a party track. Right. Like we would never play Better Nails second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side. But I could see, yeah. We run free. We run free. Yeah. What's the OG like Cancer Rats song? Yeah. Like where's the Cancer Rats fan who's like, oh, I love those tracks. I yeah, love yeah, the yeah. punk rock side of Cancer Rats, yeah. which yeah. kind of hasn't been around. But I think of that as like, oh, that's like the song. Well, I guess even when we wrote it, this is like a Cancer Rats song for Cancer Rats fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah for, for sure. sure. I'd say by the time like Friday rolls around and, and I'd like JP to essentially be sending rats the record in order. The first place we started writing this record was in Winnipeg and the last place we finished the record was in Winnipeg. Yeah, it gets brutally cold, but there's something about the people and the community here that I think is like, I don't think you ever meet an, an asshole from Winnipeg. <laughs> Everyone I've ever met here has always been super friendly, really nice, down to earth. You know, on the music side, there's so many talented people have come from here. Yeah, I think it does have a bit of a Winnipeg vibe. Plus, Liam is uh, born and raised. Yeah, he's a, he's a Winnipegger, man. Yeah, it's not even, that's, it's, a, it's, in, a, it's in his DNA. Fun fact, uh, I was actually born in Winnipeg. So a lot of people think that Mike Peters is the only proud Peg City boy. I have a man until birth certificate. I lived in Winnipeg until I was about three, uh, and then I moved to Ontario. But yeah, there you go. There's two Winnipeg guys in the band. Liam is really, I, I feel like you could say it over the past few records, but more so on this one. He's not singing like he's an angel. He doesn't have like an angelic voice or anything like that, but he's really pushing it. He's like finding harmonies. And I feel like more than ever on this record, he's found that pocket. Yeah, to get that. Then Jay was like, why don't you try it like this? And I was like, you are definitely nailing it better than I am. Because I think that like ultimately is the most important to not just be like, like I'm the drummer, I have to do everything percussion wise. It's like, well, Mikey's like totally cool with the fact that like, I know how to play drums. Mikey's not, he doesn't care. Like he's super chill. Oh man, your vocal sounds way better in this spot. For sure, like you're gonna get the lead. That's what I want. And not just to be like, oh, I have to, I have to sing this whole song. And I think that again, yeah, is just the nature of like how this record's kind of rolled out. Boss, that sounds great. There should never be one glaring ego. If you're really truly a band of people, you're wanting the same thing in the end. Who cares who does it? If it was Liam having to step up to actually play the drums, because Liam's a good drummer. What's wrong with that? 
There's nothing wrong with that. Other vocal ideas are even coming from other people in the band. It doesn't have to just be, Liam, this is your job and your job only, and I'm gonna take a back seat. I'll go fuck off somewhere, you know? No, everybody's got their hands in the pot. If there's an ego, it should be one massive ego that's the whole band. I know that sounds so cornball. That's kind of the thing, like, fuck egos. Everyone can do it. Give me a hug. Give the camera a smile. So see you in March. See you in March. See you soon. Later. Where are we going right now, Mike? To buy a hard drive. Hard Why are we buying a hard buying? drive? Because uh, we gotta ship uh, the record to Toronto. You got a convenience store. You got a laundromat. You got pizza. You got chicken. Oh wait, it's also a car wash. Monty's. Yeah, I like the end because it's a lot of the, I feel like there's a lot of things that get kind of overthought and I like when things get a little bit tighter because you're just like what's most important this no cool do we let's go a, yeah is there an idea right now do we have an idea or do we have to think of an idea no idea moving on moving on holy yeah. jeepers Hello. there's creepers Winnipeg